Hello, and welcome back to Making Sense of It All. I'm Ani Asoyan, and today we're diving into a fascinating application of the endocred model, exploring how exchange rates and interest rates function as either shock absorbers or amplifiers, depending on the credibility of central banks. Using a two-country framework focused on the United States and the Euro area during the pandemic, we'll discuss how central bank credibility plays a decisive role in shaping economic outcomes. Let's get started. In normal times, exchange rates and interest rates often act as stabilizing forces, mitigating the impact of economic shocks. For example, a negative demand shock would typically lead an inflation-targeting central bank to lower policy rates, causing the exchange rate to depreciate. This depreciation stimulates exports and shifts demand toward domestic goods, helping to stabilize the economy. However, during periods of heightened economic uncertainty, what we call dark corners, such as high inflation regimes or deflationary traps, the role of these variables can change dramatically. When central bank credibility is high, the monetary transmission mechanism remains effective, and exchange rates and interest rates continue to act as shock absorbers. But in the absence of credibility, these same variables can amplify shocks, exacerbating economic instability. The real exchange rate's behavior illustrates this dual role clearly. Under credible monetary policy, a negative demand shock triggers an appropriate response. The central bank reduces interest rates, prompting an exchange rate depreciation. This adjustment absorbs the shock, supporting demand and steering inflation back to target. However, if the central bank lacks credibility, the dynamics shift. A negative demand shock might lead markets to expect lower future inflation, causing real interest rates to rise and the exchange rate to appreciate. This appreciation worsens the recession by reducing export competitiveness and deepening economic slack. To understand these dynamics in practice, we applied the endocred model to the United States and the Euro area during the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic. Both regions faced the same negative demand shock due to lockdown policies. However, their starting conditions differed significantly. The U.S. entered the pandemic with relatively high credibility, as inflation expectations were well anchored around the Federal Reserve's 2% target. In contrast, the euro area had persistently low inflation expectations, reflecting weaker credibility for the European Central Bank, ECB. This difference in credibility had profound implications. In the U.S., financial markets trusted the Fed's ability to guide inflation back to target, enabling policy rate cuts to stabilize the economy. The exchange rate depreciated as expected, acting as a shock absorber and aiding recovery. In the euro area, however, the ECB's lower credibility caused inflation expectations to drift further downward. Real interest rates rose and the exchange rate appreciated, amplifying deflationary pressures and prolonging the recession. This divergence between the U.S. and euro area underscores how critical credibility is in maintaining the effectiveness of the monetary transmission mechanism. The ECB's pre-pandemic position was characterized by low inflation expectations and limited policy space, meaning that it lacked the tools to effectively address a synchronized global demand shock. While the Fed's credible framework allowed for quicker stabilization, the ECB's lower credibility led to a self-reinforcing cycle of deflationary pressures. The pandemic revealed the importance of integrating monetary and fiscal policies. For the ECB, achieving a credible recovery path would have required coordination with fiscal authorities to compensate for the constraints on monetary policy. Instead, the ECB's projections at the time reinforced market expectations of prolonged deflation, further weakening its position. The endocred model offers valuable insights into the interplay between credibility, exchange rates, and interest rates during times of crisis. It underscores the importance of maintaining central bank credibility to ensure that these variables function as shock absorbers rather than amplifiers. Credibility is especially critical during economic turbulence, what we call the dark corners. It's in these moments of heightened uncertainty, whether it's a high inflation regime or a deflationary trap, that the real value of credibility comes into its full extent. Unfortunately, central banks may not fully appreciate the importance of credibility until they find themselves navigating these challenging periods, highlighting why building and safeguarding credibility should always remain a top priority. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Making Sense of It All. If you found this discussion engaging, please share and subscribe for more. I'm Ania Soyan, and I'll see you next time as we continue exploring the fascinating world of monetary policy and economic dynamics.